This is your local election headquarters. Welcome back. Last week, President Biden approved an emergency declaration bringing federal help to Louisiana as salt water continues to creep up the Mississippi River. It's predicted the salt water will make its way to Algiers in around 20 days, then reaching Jefferson Parish in about a month. Orleans, Jefferson and St. Bernard parishes get their drinking water from the river. The drinking water is in the three parishes is safe to drink for the time being. Now Jefferson Parish is working with grocery stores to make sure enough water is on the shelves. LSU Health says it has three areas of concern on its campuses if they're impacted by the salt water. First, there is research equipment and patient care that required purified water to operate. Second, water that's needed for restrooms, kitchens and sinks and third, is the drinking water supply. LSU Health says it's looking to install reverse osmosis machines to ensure the water is always safe to drink. U.S. Senator John Kennedy takes aim at the Biden administration over inflation while speaking on the Senate floor this week. The Republican from Louisiana calls it Biden inflation and says it's the reason families are paying a lot more for goods and services but not making that much more on their paychecks. Starting in February of 2021 and running through today, all goods are up an average of 17 percent. How many American families have seen their income go up 17 percent? Not many. And even if we can get inflation down to zero, we're going to be stuck with those prices. A year ago, President Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act. The White House touts it as a success, saying it has created good paying jobs and invests in clean energy and climate action. Three candidates for Lafayette mayor president faced off in a debate this past week. The candidates are incumbent Josh Guillory and challengers Monique Blanco Boulay and Jan Swift. Reporter Britt LaFaso shows us highlights from that debate. The three candidates answered many important questions to the voters tonight, including the budget, jobs in the economy, and infrastructure investment. The jobs at incumbents, Mayor President Josh Guillory started fast. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all the unnecessary litigation, the legal cost. I just want to put that on the table. We are wasting so much money in litigation. The punch is also continuing as the candidates talked about crime. I've watched six police chiefs be in office in less than three years. That's a pressing issue. We have about 12 to 14 officers on patrol on any given day. At any given time, we should have 20 to 25. They are overloaded. Guillory fought back. So let me just uh, infuse a few little facts. We do have more than 12 or 14 officers patrolling the city. We have a great relationship with our chiefs of police across the parish. The next attacks coming on Guillory's accomplishments and drainage. We've invested more than $160 million in drainage over the last four years. We've added 1.25 billion gallons. That's a lot. Not with an M, with a B. One and a quarter billion gallons of storage in our drainage system. So you said $160 million on drainage. I know at least $60 million, probably more is going to one single vendor for a project that's incomplete. Perhaps the biggest topic of the night was how to use city and parish tax dollars. This is why I'm running. <laughs> we couldn't get information about where all the tax dollars were going. This is one of the biggest issues. This is why the other cities in Lafayette Parish, they're passing taxes because they trust their local government. We have to create trust around the taxpayer dollars that are collected. I don't think you can blend them the way we blend them now. I think they move around so quickly nobody knows what's coming from where. The auditors have great concern that millions and millions of city dollars has, have been spent in the parish. I'll tell you, four years ago when our administration took office, we stopped the practice of spending city dollars outside the city. We were committed to protecting the city. We're committed to protecting the finances of the city of Lafayette and also the parish of Lafayette. And our arts auditor did find that there was no commingling of funds. Again, election day is on October 14th. Reporting in Lafayette, Britt LaFosso, Kate LaFly, News 10. Yeah, it was the purchase of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana by Elevance Health, the out-of-state for-profit insurance provider, is being pulled back now. Reporter Jasmine Dean explains.
The $2.5 billion insurance merger between Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana and Elephant's Health has come to a halt after public outrage. In a previous interview, Louisiana Senator Gerald Boudreau says the public needs to be involved when matters like the acquisition are proposed. One of the things that the, the legislature mandated is that the public would be involved in this. This is not one of those things that we want to do um, in the heat of the night or the dark. Because there is public concern as well as questions, both insurance providers have decided to withdraw their proposal in order to give people more time to have details surrounding the acquisition. In a prepared statement, Elevance Health spokesperson Leslie Porras says, we have chosen to withdraw Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana's plan of reorganization and Elevance Health's acquisition application from the Louisiana Department of Insurance to provide more time for key stakeholders to understand the benefits this transaction will provide to Louisianians and how the quality service our stakeholders know and value will continue. The Louisiana Department of Insurance Commissioner-elect Tim Temple says in a statement he is pleased with the consideration of the public's concerns and ensures he will act in policyholders' best interest should the acquisition proposal be submitted during his time at the department. Affordable health care costs are vitally important and we certainly need to support whatever helps accomplish this. I'm glad to see that Blue Cross Blue Shield is considering how to best address the concerns and questions brought by the review process and reevaluate their path forward. Should they choose to during my term as commissioner, I am committed to follow the process set by law in an effort to best serve the people and policyholders of Louisiana. Although there are plans for Blue Cross Blue Shield to refile its proposal, it is not yet known when that will happen. Coming up, some changes to the state's burn ban are now in effect. We'll talk about them next.